Radio.com here back for another one of these uh, short smokes or short ashes or quick smokes or whatever we're going to call this thing. And uh, this time I'm smoking a El Titan de Bronze uh, Habano Sangrone Lancero, which is a new size from uh, IPCPR in Vegas. I met uh, Willie there, which is uh, one of the brand owners, and he was kind enough to give me a couple of samples. And since I did uh, the review previous to this, I thought I'd go back and sort of revisit it with the uh, the Lancero. So, uh, pardon me while I clip and light my cigar and get everything situated, and uh, I'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. I'm uh, just getting into my El Titan de Bronze Redemption. And, uh, well, so far, so good. Uh, the cigar felt a little dry when I cut it, but uh, I'm not totally surprised, seeing as it... Uh, it was an IPCPR cigar, and sometimes, uh, well, actually, some of them, them have been a little dry, even when uh, when I get them home into the cooler. And one of the interesting things about this cigar is that uh, cellophane's got a hole in it, and uh, it looks like a hole punch did it. So I don't know whether that was uh, some kind of attempt to keep the cigars hydrated uh, when they had them on display at the show or what. Uh, I don't remember whether or not my first Lancero had one, uh, had the, the, those holes punched in it, or if... Uh, or if any of my other cigars had the holes punched in it for that matter, uh, that's the first I remember seeing it. But uh, so far, so good. Cigars burning well. Um, solid ash. Burn line's a little wavy, a little thick. Uh, flavor's nice, and uh, it's, it's got a creamy texture to it. A uh, nice bit of bite, uh, especially through the sinuses. And uh, really, the only flavor I'm getting out of it is, uh, at this point, is spice and uh, a little bit of wood. But uh, overall, it's just a nice tobacco flavor, and uh, so far, so good. So uh, sit tight, be back, we'll do a little bit more of this, and uh, well, we'll see how this goes. Well, I'm back, still working on my El Titan de Bronze Redemption, uh, Habano Sangrone. And uh, so far, cigar's going very well, uh, just as I would have expected uh, from my previous examples, and, you know, the last Lancero I had, and now this one, and uh, I'm very happy with this cigar. Primary flavors are uh, like a sweet and salty mix. Uh, there's lots of pepper and spice through the sinuses. A little bit of wood. It's uh, nice flavors. It finishes fairly creamy, smooth, easy on the palate. Body's about medium. Uh, aside from that, you know, there, there's not a whole lot to report on the cigar other than the fact that I'm just really enjoying it. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I think this is one of the better boutique brands that, you know, I really wish more people would hear about or learn about and, and start picking up because... Uh, you know, I think the cigar performs very well, and it's just not uh, very well known. So uh, I'm going to continue smoking, and uh, I'll be back. We'll do a little bit more of this video, and my apologies if my face isn't always in the frame. My little flip cam doesn't have uh, an LCD monitor or anything. I just sort of stare at the little lens and, and hope my face is there. So sit tight, and I'll be right back. All right, well, I'm back, and uh, well, it's getting close to about time to wrap up my El Titan de Bronze, but... I think I'm going to hold off for uh, one more quick segment. <clears throat> um, throughout the second third, I'm actually getting down into the, th the final third now, but um, I've been getting black fl black pepper flavors, uh, nice spicy flavor, wood flavor, a little bit of leather. You know, I'm really enjoying the, the cigar. I think it's very complex, very interesting. Uh, it just it grabs your attention and holds it very well. Body's about medium. Finish is uh, a little creamy, smooth on the palate, easy. It doesn't give you that sort of bitey feel in the tongue or the walls of the mouth or anything like that. It's uh, just very smooth and enjoyable. So, uh, really, that, that's that's the, the makeup of the, the flavors, body and finish and whatnot. Uh, the burn line is good. Uh, slightly wavy, not a problem. The ash is a little loose, but then again, I'm, I'm dealing with a Lancero, so it's, it's something I've got to expect. Um... The, the volume of smoke is, is very good. Uh, getting big mouthfuls of smoke. The, the, the smoke itself is fairly cool. Uh, it doesn't feel overly warm or anything like that. Uh, it feels good on the fingers. The cigar s still feels firm, not spongy or anything from heat. So all in all, the cigar is constructed well. It's, it's burning. It's got good burning characteristics, good flavor. And uh, I'm enjoying it. So I'm going to get back to dodging the walnuts that are falling out of the tree above me. And uh, I'll be back. We'll do a quick wrap-up, and uh, I'll let you be on your way. Well, welcome back. It's uh, it's about time to wrap up my El Titan the Bronze uh, Redemption Lancero, and uh, you know I, I I don't have a single complaint about this cigar. Uh, it's got great flavor, great body finish. Uh, it burns well. It tastes great. Uh, you know it's it's got plenty of character complexity. 
Uh, it does a great job of, of grabbing your attention and, and keeping it throughout the entire cigar. Uh, I think the only difference between this, uh, the Lancero, and the others that I've had is that this one may be a little crisper. Uh, I think that may be just, uh, just because of the, the wrapper flavors coming through a little bit more. Um, you know, and, and I really think, you know, I really believe what I said earlier about uh, I really wish this, this boutique brand were a little bigger. Simply because, uh, you know, it just hasn't disappointed me yet. Uh, you know, I've been, I've been happy with every cigar that I've had from El Titan in the Redemption line. And, uh, you know, I'd really like to see the brand blossom a little bit. I, I talked to Willie at IPCPR, as I mentioned, and he's a great guy. You know, just a really nice person to talk to. Very open about his cigars and, and just uh, and, and very willing to listen to what you have to say about your cigars. So uh, if you have any questions about the El Titan brand, please get in touch with uh, El Titan de Bronze. I think it's uh, eltitan.com or something like that. I'm not sure. But um, I'll see what I can do about remembering to, to put a link to the their website on uh, Stogie Review. And also, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call this thing. I'm still not sure. JB from the Fan Forums gave me lots of great suggestions. So I'm going to see what I can do about throwing a little poll at the end of uh, this this post on Stuggy Review. So weigh in with what you think and maybe drop a couple of comments and, and let me know you know, what we should call this, uh, this short smoke or short ash segment. And uh, we'll see what we can do about branding it and uh, maybe making it uh, a regular thing. I'm a little more comfortable with it now after having gotten some feedback on the website and on the forums and whatnot. So uh, it seems like it, it could be something positive and popular. So we're going we're gonna to roll with it, and uh, at least for a little while, and see how it develops. So uh, until next time, happy smoking.